Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial number two for our daylight cycle. Now let's go ahead and open up Unity. Now I've had a few questions and comments about the way I've created my suns. Uh, some of them are like, uh, you don't need the lens flare here, you have a lens flare up here. Uh, let's address that one first. The reason why I've added a, a second lens flare, if we start our game up and we take a look, let me just shrink this over a bit. And we'll start off with the red sun. You notice how I have a little red sun flare. Now if I didn't use the lens flare down here, let's just turn that off. And we'll actually add the flare to the sun. Or at least the game object that I'm using for the sun, the directional light. And I wanted to make it red. You'll notice right away that it starts casting a red light down here. And you may not want an actual red light on your scene. And I haven't actually found a way to have the flare be red unless I actually go and create a red flare. And I'd kind of like just to use the same flare over and over again. And you can change the intensity of the flare if you look. So take a look at how it is now. And let's say I want to make it bigger. I can increase the intensity, but as you notice, it drastically changes the color of my landscape. So let's go take another look at it. You know, it's a little bit bigger, but you know, it changes, it makes my landscape red. So I just want to keep it to a plain white light. And I'm just not going to use a flare there. I'm going to use the lens flare down here. And you may not even want light here casted from the sun. Maybe you have three or four different suns in your environment, and you only want the one sun to cast actual light. So let me just start this up make sure I got it reset right everything appears to be fine but with two suns casting light down onto my scene it can really wash things out once I start adding textures so another way you could implement this is to create an empty game object and just add a flare to that so we'll go down to rendering add a lens flare I'm gonna make this one kind of a green color make sure it's directional I'll leave its brightness at one uh, I'm going to move it over here a bit and I want to change its rotation angle so I'll put it here rotate it a bit and let's go look at it if I've got it set up oh I forgot to add it to our game timer so I now have three suns and this is my green sun so I'll just drop it in there I haven't renamed it and if we go look now we should see a green sun somewhere but we're not, so what did I do wrong? Let me take another look here. I forgot to add the flare. So there we go. Now it should work. And there's our green sun over there. And if you notice, it doesn't actually cast any light. So since I'm probably only going to use one sun for the actual lighting of my scene, I'm just going to go ahead and delete my red sun and I'll rename this game object to my red sun uh, not my red sub my red sun now my game timer I'm only gonna have two now and I'll just drag this one back on and let's click on it see what it's ro see what its angle is so we see it's gonna be rotating along the red axis which is this one here I want to change that a bit. I want it to rotate that way in the sky. So let's take a look here. I forgot to actually change the color of it again. So we'll make it red. And then start it back up. And there we go. We have two different suns, but only one of them is actually casting light. Now, of course, if you want your all your suns, or at least multiple suns, casting light, uh, just make sure to use your directional light. And, of course, you might actually want to use the flare up here. There's nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't recommend using the halo, because if you notice, when you use the halo, and you take a look, you can see it directly ahead of my game port. The halo just sits off to the side. So, don't use halo. 
Now the next thing I want to start being able to control is on my suns I want to be able to control how bright the flare is and I want it to be different for each sun so some suns can be really bright some could be well not so bright and there's a couple ways off the top of my head I could think of doing that one is to create another array for in our game time that just controls directly how bright these suns are so you could have a min and a maximum and another way is just to make a completely separate script that we actually attach to our suns and it basically just holds the variable there for us now I think the easiest way would probably just actually create a new script so I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new C sharp script and I'm just gonna call it well this is gonna be used for suns and moons and it's just gonna basically store all the basic properties we want to be able to access of that element so I'm just gonna call it Sun for lack of a better word for now and I'll just open that up and make sure the name is changed for the class and let's also have it added to our component menu up here but we're gonna create a new menu item so we'll go ahead and right above where we define our class just use the square brackets up there then inside there you'll want to type add component menu and it should turn green if you're using model development and then in your parentheses you want to type in a string for what you want to call this menu item so I'm going to make the new menu item be called enviro Mints. It's, no, it's actually I think environments but that's going to be our if you look here how we have these options here that's what that's going to be and then when you put the slash you can actually say what the next part is going to be called and I'm just going to call mine Sun so if we save that off come back into our unity and there we go so I'll select a Sun I'll come up to components and just add the Sun component to it and there it is down there I'll do the same thing for the red Sun since we're starting to get a lot of scripts in our base project this is a easier way to quickly access everything so you could quite literally come up here and make just tons of new menu options uh, so you could have your player character your mobs whatever you need up here but in case you're more ever wondering, that's that's how you do it. So let's go back and let's make a few edits. So I'm gonna make a a private variable, a type float, and I'm gonna call it max brightness. And of course, this is gonna store what the maximum brightness we want this sun to be at. Or moon and then we're going to create another private float which is going to be min brightness and of course that's the minimum we want for it so I'm going to delete start and update and now that I think of it I'm actually just going to make these public so this way here we can just edit them in the inspector instead of actually having to come in and write them in the script so we'll save that off we'll come over select any of our suns you'll notice you have a maximum and a minimum and for the yellow sun I'm just going to close down this directional light and the lens flare and there you go now there's actually two different things we're actually going to be controlling with our max brightness here uh, one is going to be the light flare and another is going to be the actual intensity of the light so we'll have to know in advance if we actually have a lens flare attached to it or not so we'll add that into this script so we'll head back over to mono develop 